you are welcome back to my channel this is the money class with odum and this is odum's forum so last week on episode one we looked at living below your means and that was um the basic dimension today we are moving to a higher dimension if you are visiting this channel for the very first time you can give us a thumbs up by subscribing and becoming part of this family so that anytime we upload a new video you will be notified so today with lessons from your feedback on episode one i have decided to proceed and then get more deeper with um, building wealth and so we are looking at financial discipline yes financial discipline you know financial discipline is one of the three main things that i think you need if you want to create wealth okay and so if you are talking about sustainable wealth then you need financial discipline you need time and then you need money and so Discipline is the first thing and it is very much important that you become financially disciplined so that you can have dominion over your finances. So what then is financial discipline? So financial discipline is basically um, the practice of you having control over your, your financial resources and making informed decisions about your expenditure, your saving and investing. Yes. And it basically involves creating a budget and living within one's means so this is what i discussed last week i mean and then also avoiding unnecessary expenses so that is just about um financial discipline and noel jones also said that financial discipline demands that you have a budget you control your money and do not let money control you discipline yourself to make sure that the flow of your money is going in the right direction at all times and so you know generally when we talk about financial discipline um it's basically having control over your finances and i keep saying this on my channel in my previous videos that look if you want to create a world there is a particular way you must do things okay you can do things like the way everybody does and expect that you step into financial prosperity or financial um, freedom it doesn't happen like that there is a way there is a way you need to do it and financial discipline requires that you have a particular lifestyle or a particular habit so that you can be on track to achieve financial freedom so i mean why is financial discipline so important number one it helps you to achieve your financial goals irrespective of whatever goal you have in finance whether it's savings for retirement for education for a house for i mean to settle a, a debt i mean irrespective of your financial goal financial discipline is a key thing it is basic it is required of you to maintain it because other than that none of these goals um is will be easily achieved if you don't have financial discipline and so it is very much important now the second thing is that it helps you i mean step into financial freedom you know financial freedom is basically when you can have dominion over your finances and that i mean you can take advantage of some of your wants and those things so you need to have financial you need to be financially disciplined and i mentioned in the earlier part of the video that there's one of the three key things that you need if you want to create wealth and so you know that financial freedom is also about having some kind of wealth or some level of wealth and so that is it financial discipline helps you um achieve your financial freedom goal or objective now another thing is that it helps you create that wealth you want to create okay so financial discipline is that one thing that will put you on track to land in the kind of wealth or the level of wealth you want to i mean create for yourself because see like i said you don't want to be you can't be doing things just like the way everybody does and then result in financial freedom or result in sustainable wealth it doesn't work like that you require a certain level of discipline regarding your expenditure regarding your saving regarding your investment so that you can be able to land into that wealth so you know just like i do with 
in all my videos uh, with the topics I discuss. I tell you what it is, I tell you um, the why, and then I tell you the how you can actually become one. So how do you become financially disciplined? It's very simple. First of all, I want you to understand that financial discipline doesn't happen like to people. It, it just doesn't happen overnight. You just don't wake up and then you are financially disciplined like no it doesn't work like that it's not like a miracle that will happen to you to get it it's actually a journey that you have to embark on and you have to start from one point and move it to another and so um you know all is directed to you reaching financial freedom and like i said it doesn't happen overnight to you nobody is born financially disciplined it's a learning process that you have to embark on and you start small and you build on it you build on it you build on it you build on it and then you will get the trust me so the number one thing or the first thing i want you to look at if you want to um build financial discipline is basically to look at your thought your thinking your mindset about money and finances look there are a number of people who believe that due to their income level due to the rising cost of living the inflation and all that they are never going to have control over their finances yes there are people like that but i know my viewers are not like that i mean if you are one you definitely get out of it so you have to train your mind to understand that look it is possible irrespective of your income level whether you are earning as low as you think it is you have to believe you have to accept from your 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 head that look it is possible for me to also have dominion over my finances for me to also um have control of my finances for me to also be able to save invest and do all kind of things from that small money i am in and so your mind has to be trained to accept that and you know anything that is accepted in your mind your system will be programmed and then your lifestyle will be adjusted to fit into that purpose and so it has to start from your thinking now the next thing is having accepted that now you have to move to getting goals look if you don't have goal for anything you do we all know you kind of end up doing things that it might look like you are on track in achieving something but i mean at the end of the day you realize that you end up not really achieving anything significant but if you have a goal the goal will serve as a constant reminder and it will be with you in i mean uh, um your expenditure patterns i mean everything that you'll be doing you have your goal in mind and so it is going to guide you in how you direct your funds your funds so that is why it's important to set goals if you have never had a financial goal please this is the time for you to set one and it can be just saving for education for a house for um, um for rent for um other things so you should have a goal you should have a goal you should have a goal it is very very important okay so the goal is what will direct you and put you on track the next thing is to have a budget you know the bad budget is the, that one thing that will um, help you know where your money actually went instead of I mean asking where did it actually go to get it so budget is very important because budget helps you draw a red line to your income and then draw a red line to your expenditure and so with budget you know the lines to your income and then you know the lines to your expenditure and you can be able to trim that down the next thing is oh expenditure you know one of the there are two ways to make more money okay so i think i've said this in my previous video so one of them is to make more money and one of the the other one is to trim your expenditure look if your income is small the best way to have enough is to reduce your expenses and so for instance if you are any 1000 Ghana cities and you're saving 200 cities and you are spending let's say 200 cities on airtime and data for course and those things if you are able to trim your data and airtime expenditure to 100 cities or 150 cities you'll be able to get an extra 50 or 100 cities this one it your thousand cities hasn't increased but you've been able to get 
within that an extra 50 or 100 cities to add to your savings to add to your expenditure so that is how trimming of expenditure works and sometimes when it comes to making more money adding to your income creating other streams of income you may be limited due to probably your skills and all that and so if you are limited to adding more money to your sources of income or adding more channels of income the the number one way to do uh, to to have more money is to trim your expenses so for your expenses you can constantly reduce them and the more you are reducing your expenses the more you are increasing your income allocated to savings and expenditure so that is why this conversation is very important i think i have a full video on how to trim your expenses and all that so you can check it out from my um, video gallery now the last thing i want to share with you is that be patient look it doesn't happen overnight whilst you are disciplined i mean it takes time like i said if you are disciplined now you need time you need time to build wealth you need time to build wealth you need time now especially in the early stage of your investment the compounding effect will not look that significant until it starts surging like um, after the five six seven eight ten twenty years and then you say that okay yeah now when there is a compound effect now you see the the, the result is very significant so you need patience you need to exercise patience i mean you are probably saving a particular amount and the whole year will end and you realize that your savings hasn't accumulated to, to something significant relax just exercise patience you will get there you will get there like i said if your mind is trained to to uh, to to accept that you definitely get there and you be patient you understand because at the end of the day you have a goal and a target to achieve i like to leave you with two quotes from zig ziglar and uh, yeah and zig ziglar so um zig ziglar said discipline yourself to do what to, to do the things you need to do when you need to do them and the day will come when you will be able to do the things you want to do them so this is on needs and want so discipline yourself to do the things you need to do them when you need to do them and the day will come when you will be able to do the things you want to do them so you see there are some things that you need to do and there are some things that you want to do now what you need to do is what is very much important so because uh, the reason is that that is what is going to take you to that level you want to achieve and the things that you want to do are are like add-ons you get it they are add-ons it just makes life a little better but the things that you need to do are the survivor things you get it and then one to also say discipline discipline is just choosing between what you want now and what you want most you get it so what you want now and then what you want most yeah discipline is just about choosing between these two what you want now and then what you want most to get it uh -huh. so i mean i think you can think about this thing and then give me your understanding in the comment section so this will be the end of episode two um it's been about financial discipline and we've looked at trimming your expenditure having a budget setting setting a goal training your mindset to accept and then um, understanding that becoming financial discipline is a journey that you have to embark on also i spoke about the fact that financial discipline is that one thing that is going to get you achieve the level of wealth you want to build help you step into financial freedom and um, help you achieve your financial goals so um this is just 15 minute video um so this is odum's forum if you are here for the very first time we just talk about financial literacy and the money class has come and we drop videos once every week on financial key financial habit matters so the things that you have to do to learn into sustainable wealth and the things that you need not to do i think one time i have to find um uh, I have to create a content on how to become broke easily so that you understand yes it's an interesting topic how to become broke easily how to become broke so that you can check yourself all right yeah so it's been an interesting session with you um 14 minutes almost 15 minutes actually and uh, I'm so happy that you are with Odoo's forum give us a subscription share the video share video share the video to others 
and trust me we are growing we are now we are now three thousand and above and so we will get there we will get there thank you so much for supporting till we meet again see you in episode three of the money class